What's going on everyone? My name is Andrew McManaman, a licensed real estate professional in the great state of Michigan. And today we're going to talk about eight tips to make your move go smoothly. Let's get to it. First off, I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I come out with a new video and please give it the old thumbs up. As you may or may not know, moving homes can be one of the most stressful things in the world. From losing your priceless belongings, fighting with a spouse, and putting your trust in a moving company to be as gentle with your items as you would be. In this video, I go over eight tips to help your move go just a little bit smoother. Tip number one, one of the first things that many homeowners don't do right away due to how overwhelming the process can be is calling all their current utility companies to cancel service on the day of move-in. This will save you money and headaches, so don't neglect this task. Tip number two, Find a mover or decide how you plan on moving your belongings. Make sure to look on Yelp or any other review platform to ensure the movers can be trusted handling your valuables. If you don't want other people handling your valuables, invest in renting a U-Haul or a Home Depot moving truck. On average, they will charge $150 to $200 a day depending on the size of the truck. A moving company will charge $80 to $100 an hour. But be sure to understand that most people aren't comfortable driving a 12 to 17 foot truck. So keep that in mind when you are making that decision. Tip number three, get rid of everything you don't want before you buy boxes and containers. Sell unwanted items on Facebook Marketplace, LetGo, Craigslist, Poshmark, or Plato's Closet if it's clothing. If you don't want to deal with the endless conversations for each item, have a garage sale and for whatever doesn't sell, donate it to the church or the Salvation Army. Tip number four, plan the pack. Have the most needed items in a clear bin so they don't get misplaced in the other boxes. Make sure you categorize all the items and label the boxes accordingly. You can also plan on each room to be categorized by a number and you could write that on the box instead of paragraphs describing what's in them. Uh, wrap your valuables in towels, socks for the smaller items, and bed sheets will create layers in the box or bin. You might be saying, nice points, Andrew, but I don't want to spend a million dollars on boxes. I'm glad you said that. That brings us into tip number five. Reach out to friends on social media, check the free listings on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, and another great platform to use for local pickup and getting to know your neighbors is Nextdoor. Throw your question out there and I'm sure there'll be a few people looking to get rid of some of their boxes. If all else fails, make a visit to the larger retail stores such as Home Depot, Lowe's, or Best Buy. They may try to tell you to purchase the boxes and packaging that they sell, but it never hurts to try, especially for free boxes. Tip number six, chances are you won't have everything unpacked by that day or even the next. So do yourself a favor and pack an overnight bag so all the necessities are in one place and you don't find yourself tearing apart every one of the boxes to find your favorite t-shirt. Tip number seven, a tip that can help a lot of people out, especially when all you want to do is make that home as clean as you possibly can, and that is by defrosting the fridge at least a day before move-in. This will allow you to clean it thoroughly without the chance of a moldy piece of cheese being tucked under one of the drawers for who knows how long. All right, so that brings us into the last tip, tip number eight. The most important thing you can do is take your time. If you're like me, you want everything done right this second, but in reality, it isn't worth the stress, so take your time and understand that the home isn't going anywhere, I promise you. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen through all eight tips to help you with your move. If you have any questions at all about the process, please don't hesitate to reach out. I truly look forward to seeing you in next week's video.